Well, hello folks. This is Henry. Welcome back to the channel. Look where I am. This is just absolutely stunning. This is Brokenhead Lake, one of my favorite places to camp. Came here today to go look for a drone. I don't like looking for things in mid-water, but apparently this guy has a good idea where it is. Are you Henry? Yeah, I am. Hey, I'm Misha. Are you okay with me on YouTube? How's it going? So this is a, uh, this lake's about 10 kilometers-ish, give or take. And uh, I've canoed actually all the way down to the far end. There's uh, cabins down there and everything. Um, beautiful lake. Okay, so it's not a hundred feet from here. No, no, no. It's like a thousand feet. <laughs> I'm just looking for the easiest place to get in the water. I'm gonna go have a look over there to see if it's easier to get in the water over there. He's got a little zodiac, which is great, except it's virtually impossible for me to get back into the zodiac. So it's nice to get the ride over there, but then I can't get back in the zodiac. So I think I'll find a place to get in the water and we'll scooter over. So this entry looks a little sketchy. There's Misha right there. He is motoring over there. So that'll take me about three or four minutes with my underwater scooter. All right, time to get kitted up. See you in the water, guys. That took me an hour and 45 minutes, but I found it. A gray drone on top of gray sand. Check it out. There it is. Man, that was hard. Man, what a gorgeous spot. All right, gotta pack up and uh, get out of here because on the way home, no, I hate it. 
I gotta go get a uh, cell phone out of a lake. <laughs> my work never ends. All right, so I'm at Cat Lake. This is really cool. Um, Cat Lake is a is a walk-in only site, so the parking lot is way down at the end there, and then you gotta hike in, hike all your stuff in. Um, lovely lake, but it's a pain in the butt if you want to camp here. Um, but I get to drive in, so super cool. So I gotta go down to the dock. I know we're about um, the girl wasn't here but um, she gave me the description of where it should be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a line down to mark the spot because again as I mentioned in previous videos I have no idea where I am when I'm in the water like I roughly know but I don't know precisely so I'm gonna drop her drop a line down That's fascinating. how are you gonna get it I'm gonna dive. oh you're gonna go in yeah yeah all right so line is set so I'm just going to follow the line down. Hopefully it's within a few feet of that. So here's the thing. Um, first of all, I don't want to jinx, jinx myself and say this should be an easy find. But I'm actually less curious about the phone. I'm more curious about what the lake bottom looks like. I was here in January and March and did a full cleanup. And I hit the section. I always hit the section repeatedly every year because I'm looking for somebody else's phone. I've been looking for it for four years now. It's much deeper. Um, and so I've been having problems finding it. But this section of the dock here, I've actually cleaned 100%. There's not a single thing on the bottom when I left it last. Let's go down and have a look and see if people trash the place already. All right, see you in the water, guys. successful dive I went in remember I went in just for the phone so you guys will see in the in the GoPro um, point of view now so remember I said underneath that dock was a hundred percent clean there was not a single beer can so just in my little area uh, you saw the two boat paddles there's a lawn chair there's another giant uh, I don't know dog blanket something whatever um, so I just quickly grabbed some lighters beer cans and so on and I found a second phone two for one deal today and uh, definitely one pair of Ray-Bans that I'm not familiar with the rest of the sunglasses brand and a bong. Check it out. So there's the two phones. That's the one I came for. That's the bonus phone. I got a full drink. <laughs> a whole bunch of lighters. Got a bong. And a whole bunch of sunglasses. There's another one stuck in the bag over here. So I'm not familiar with any of these brands. I just know the Ray-Ban. Um, I actually have this pair that's in my truck. <laughs> All right, folks. Oh, long day. I better get home. It's time for dinner, it's after six. Gotta get home for dinner. It's like 45 minute drive for me to get home. All right, guys. Thanks for my Patreon supporters. So uh, I left a whole bunch of trash in there um, that I didn't collect because I just want to quickly grab this. And uh, so I'll be back in the fall to do another cleanup. All right, thanks to the Patreon supporters. I'll see you in the next video.